Mooney Lal, check on quality of police bulletproof vests. Aura Push East MP Dr. Rudal Mooney Lal is questioning the quality of bulletproof vests used by police officers after a guard and emergency branch, GB. Officer was shot in the chest while on patrol in East Port of Spain on July 22. Shakala Charles was a passenger in a marked police car responding to reports of a shooting at St. Paul's Street when gunmen opened fire, hitting him with a bullet penetrating his vest. In a statement on July 23, Munilal called on Minister of National Security Fitzgerald Hines and the police service to say if officers now have inferior and expired bulletproof vests. Hines and Police Commissioner Erla Harewood Christopher must reply in light of the shooting, the statement said. Munilal said some officers in tactical units have alleged their vests have passed their use-by dates, while some opt to buy vests privately for public duty. This is a critical life and death matter, to which Mr. Hines must respond with urgency and clarity and assurance that officers will be outfitted with modern, effective, and top-quality vests. Saying some vests were also knife-proof and or tested for varying caliber of ammunition, he said different police units must have the requisite vests. He said bulletproof vests had a lifespan of about five years. Given the state of heinous crime and the high-powered weapons in the hands of criminals, all police officers must be outfitted with appropriate fit-for-purpose bulletproof vests. I also call on the COP to indicate whether officers have been using vests that are outdated and deemed expired or defective. Saying this issue typified the gross mismanagement of the anti-crime campaign Munilal hit, Mr. Hines is shamelessly boasting of his performance in office even as citizens continue to be murdered or assaulted and robbed. Munilal said alleged incompetence by Hines and Harewood Christopher now exposed the state to civil liability over its duty to provide proper equipment such as bulletproof vests to police officers. The road traffic gridlock created by the police service last week has not stemmed the killings, home invasions, extortions, attacks, and other brutal crimes. He said TT's national borders remain porous and open to illegal weapon and drug transshipments. A dramatic improvement in law enforcement should begin with a public explanation of the worthiness of the bulletproof vests worn by police officers.